hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to quickly create an accordion on your website an accordion can be used for frequently asked questions or when you need to um concise information um, or when you need to add a title and a subtitle in a quick summarized and concise manner so without further ado let's dive right into the designs so as you can see this is the page of the initial design you're seeing um, it basically has two components you can quickly create this and use this in your designs so please don't forget to like leave a comment subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find this video helpful to start creating this the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new page and i'm going to go to the frame section and i'm going to use a desktop frame i'm just going to reduce the height of this desktop frame and then we can start creating our accordion so the first thing you want to do is to create the first tab um, that can be opened up that has the title page i'm going to click t on the keyboard and i'm going to paste in our header title so the next thing you want to do is to have this arrow button here that looks like a call to action so i'm going to select this arrow button i'm just going to copy this particular one and i'm going to come back to our designs and i'm going to paste it in the board so once you have this i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to hit shift a between them and i'm going to make sure it's um left aligned so once we have this center left aligned what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some more padding to it so i'm going to hold down command and click on any of this padding input field and make the padding 20 um pixel right so for the um top and bottom i'm just going to reduce this to like 16 so that it gives us that perfect rectangle shape i'm also going to add a stroke to it and i'm going to round up the corners a little bit so once we have this the next thing i want to do is to make sure that this um this um, frame here is um, on a fixed width so i'm going to change the um size or the type of the width to fixed from hot content to fixed so that once we change the context of this question um the size or the width of this tab doesn't change so also once we have that so once we have that um the next thing we want to do is to create a subtitle section so i'm going to create create a duplicate of this and we are going to be adding a subtitle to this so i'm just going to quickly grab the subtitle from this first design here and once we have that i'm going to paste i'm going to paste that subtitle on our board i'm just going to reduce the size of the subtitle a little bit more so what we want to do is typically to fit the subtitle in this particular frame so if i paste in the subtitle here you're going to see that it's just um overflowing out of this that's because we've set the size of this particular one to fixed so it cannot be larger or smaller than this size but this is not what we are trying to achieve what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this second one that we just created here and i'm going to create click on this title text and also this arrow button and i'm going to hit shift a on them to create another auto layout on them once i have this i'm going to make sure it's also left center aligned and it's also um horizontal direction but i'm going to click on the entire frame and i'm going to make sure this is on vertical direction and I'm, before i do that i'm going to show you why so if i duplicate this and i click on this text i cut it and i paste it in here it's going to keep going to the right because it's on um if you click on the parent component you'll see that it's on horizontal direction so i'm going to change it to vertical direction so that it flows vertically i'm going to reduce the um spacing between them to like 20 pixel and we are going to have something similar to this now what we want to do if you can notice when we change the context of this title here you will see that this arrow button also changes in position which is not what we want so i'm going to click on this so what we want to do is to click on these three dots here and make this space between i'm also going to click on this and i'm going to click on these three dots and i'm going to make it space between so once we do that 
we are going to see that once we change the context of this this arrow button remains in its original position so i'm going to just undo that and for this question here i want to make sure the width of this question is the same as the width of this section so the width of this is 357 so i'm going to click on this text place and i'm going to make it 357 so it's going to be a fixed width for the width and for the height it's going to be um hog content so i'm going to leave it like that because if i have a subtitle text that is not as long as this i want it to be flexible so that once we keep typing um this can like can be very flexible and it can um enlarge as the text increases so i'm going to remove this now we have both of these states in our designs i'm going to click on both of these and i'm going to highlight both i'm going to go to this component section and i'm going to create component set so once we have this component set the next thing we want to do is to create properties on our component so where we want to create a property on is the title so that once you change your title text it's also changed in um the open states of your design so that you don't have to change the title text on both the closed states and the open state so one way to do that is to click on this title click on this target icon here you can see it says select all matching layers once you click on it you can come to this content section and create a um a text property so i'm going to name this header text and i'm going to click on create property now um, we can create an interaction on this so we have two states here which is the closed state and the open state so to create an interaction on this i'm just going to switch to the prototype mode and i'm going to draw the wires from this first one down here um it's going to be an on click everything remains the same and it's going to be smart animate i'm going to return the favor but by clicking on this title section i'm going to return the favor and everything remains the same once I have done this, we can now check the prototype and see what our designs look like. But before I do that, I'm going to click on both of these and I'm going to give it a white view just so that it's obvious. Now, once we have this, I'm going to create a duplicate or an instance of our component into a frame and I'm going to play this in the prototype section so that we... Um, have a view of what we've been designing so as you can see if i click on this we can have this little animation and transition um on this one thing i want us to fix is on the open state i want to change the um the angle of this arrow button so that it feels like it's opened and also we can go ahead to create the proper accordion where we have the three different states so this is looking nice so i'm going to go back to our designs and here on this particular state here which is the open state i want to change the um, angle of this to minus 90 degrees so that it's facing downwards so once i've changed the direction of this the next thing i want to do is to create a proper component set so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to create um instances of this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create three instances i'm going to duplicate this three times i'm going to um, highlight everything and hit shift a to create um, an auto layout on it so and once i've created these three times depending on the number of tabs you need i'm just going to use three as an example i'm going to reduce the spacing between them to 10 pixel i'm going to duplicate this set of three tabs three more times right so simply what i want to do here is on this first one i want to make change the states um to frame two uh for the second one i'm going to change the state also to frame two and for the third one i'm going to change the frame also to stage to, to frame two so here we have um three states we have the first state where this is open the second state where this is open and the third state where this is open so what you're going to do is select every single one of these go to components and create component set so 
by default this is going to be the open state this first one so once you click on the second tab here you want to switch to the prototype menu once you click on the second question here we are going to prototype to this second um states where you have the second one open and the first and the last one closed we are going to do the same thing for the third one if you click on the third one here you're going to see that this is open and for the second question here you see that also you can click on the third one here and this is open and for the first question you can click on this and we open the first states and you can click on this which is the first states and we open the first state also you can click on the second one here and you open the second state so hopefully we've been able to cater for um every single state here you can um go ahead and cross check to make sure it's all fine so once you do that you can now click on your first instance here and create a duplicate so by default um this first state is opened and if we create a prototype on this i'm just going to close this up and if we create a prototype on this you're going to see that it's really easy to create an accordion in figma and you can see this is what we just created the first state is open by default and once you click on the second one it opens up the first one closes up click on the third one the same thing um and this is it guys this is how to create a simple accordion in figma you can style this any way you want and use them in multiple projects um, be it a web project or a mobile project thanks for watching i hope you guys learned a lot and i'm going to see you in my next video bye for now